the course manager, right, that is loading both the cable and the grid version of the of the list uh, list of uh, collection of courses. We like to be able to toggle between the two, right? Uh, somehow we would uh, like maybe uh, a button in here somehow, right? Maybe a button that says uh, button toggle. Okay, with uh, one two G's. Uh, and um, and as I click on the toggle, right, I like to be able to show one or the other. Okay, uh, so so somehow I, I would maybe ha I need to have some kind of variable uh, that uh, I can switch between values, and depending on that value, show one or show another. Right? Um, maybe maybe if the uh, uh, there'd be like a layout variable, right? If the layout says uh, table, I show the table one. If it show if it says grid, then I show the grid one. Yes. Right, so first let me show you uh, how would things be uh, that, that we could, we could um, display or hide or show. Uh, a component can be, a component can be um, concatenated alongside with a Boolean expression, right? And it can, be part, it can participate in a Boolean expression and, and for instance, we can end it with some Boolean expression. If, if that expression is false, then it would shortcut and not render the component. If it's true, then it would render the component. So let me show you this. Right, so for instance, if I, if I say here uh, true and, and a course table component, yes? Uh, this is what it's going to do is that it's going to try and evaluate this Boolean expression. So the left side true is always true, obviously. The right-hand side is always true. Because they're both true, their component renders. Right? Uh, but if instead you have the expression you have false and and com course grid component, notice that the false is always false, but the right hand is always true, right? But because you have false, it shortcuts, right? It shortcuts the uh, evaluation and it doesn't bother to evaluate the right hand side. Make sense? So this is a very common technique uh, for hiding and showing things, right? We, what we need to do now is be able to handle that left hand side. Right, so that we can control that programmatically instead of always being true or false. Right, notice that right now, yeah, um, if we render it, notice that we only have the table, right? Uh, or if we switch it around, false and and this is true. Then notice that it becomes grid. Yes. So we need to be able to control that left hand side of those expressions. Make sense? All right. So let's do, let's see how we can do that. All right. So ideally, we would have some kind of variable here, right? 